Hello everybody and good evening. It's the third day at the Group C right now here at the 1500 euro new state mobile EU Spring League season one and I will be your cast. I'm Stormy and the last two days have been really really insane. We have seen some teams insanely clutches. We have seen some good amount of kills per team and for sure we have seen many many good fights and I want to see that today again. We will see New State Mobile for sure getting played here and this is the schedule. We will see in total 4 rounds, so round 9 to 12, as we have seen already 8 rounds in the previous 2 days. And I'm super curious to see which team will come to the first position uh, today at the end of the day. The top 8 will move over, we have here 21 teams, um, but I will show you that just in a second. So the first round already starting in 4 minutes. We will see Arangu getting played as first, and we will see for sure all the four maps getting played in first person. Next one starting 45 minutes later on Troy, and followed by Arangu and Troy in the second cycle. So that's what I've said before, four rounds total, and I think we can have a look at the list of participants here. So with Major is there mentioned on the first spot, Lost Paradise, King7, Red Marauders, Marauders, whatever, Red Marauders. I don't know. Uh, the hard team, Horsemen of the Apocalypse, Breaking Team, Corleone Esports, X Godado Special X, Red Flame, uh, Bugs Esports, Rosex Moon. Then we have there the ROK of Rock Esports, uh, Lim United Esports, Lime Machine, Alternate Gaming Team Explode, Cardinals Team, that new name is Format C, so don't mix them up. And the horror teams as well as winners play. So that's in total 21 teams. And they are playing here today. New State Mobile. Still a new Battle Royale shooter for mobile devices from developer Brafton. And the goal is for sure to be the last team standing and collect points. As this is a Battle Royale game, this is the main target. But you need to do it over 12 rounds. And at the end of the day, you should be the guy first or the team on the first spot. We have the point system like you already can see it next to me. And we for sure, let me put it a little bit down. We have for sure uh, some placement points. Every time you reach a certain position, starting from position eight, you will receive placement points starting at one for position seven or eight. That means position nine to 21 will not receive any placement points. 2 for the 6th position, 3 for the 5th, 4, 5, 6 to the 2nd position, and the 1st position, the chicken dinner gives you 10 placement points. While we can see there, each kill rewards you another point. So there, we could see already different tactics happening. Some teams going more in for the aggressive gameplay, going for more kills. Some others playing it more defensive to stay alive and get some placement points. And at the end of the day, the team with the best tactic will stay on the 1st position. So yesterday and the day before we already saw 8 games in total and it's time to show you the current standing and see which team is right now in the first position. Thank you guys for all tuning in, really appreciate it and uh, I will be back for you visible right soon and here is the actual the current standing. There we are. United Esports with two chicken dinners still holding the first position, only five points ahead of Lost Paradise. They have had, in the meantime, over 30 points lead. But Lost Paradise without a chicken dinner and the same amount of kills is trying to catch up to the lead. We have the breaking team, Crossex Moon, and Format C there with 73, 72, and 71 point directly behind them. So that's not even a big gap to position five. Position 6 with 65, 56 points, a little bit behind, uh, like a little gap, but still position 7 and 8 with 52 and 44, quite close behind. With Major on the 8th spot, which is the last spot which will secure your position in the semi-finals. So they need to be aware to not overtaken. X Godaris, King 7, right behind them with 40, 38, and Team Explode with 37 points. So that's only 7 for 3 further teams to move into the top 8, and with a chicken dinner this will be easy possible. Even our team on the 12th, Alternate Gaming with 20 points, still have a chance if they can secure themselves a chicken dinner. So right now we are here with 63 players, which is good. And we are starting off into the first round of today, which will be Arangu. So good luck to everybody who is participating. I will let you know right after the first round, after a short break, what the current standing is. And we will directly see 
today at the end of the stream which a teams will do move to the semi-finals which is starting in two weeks and yeah i'm ready for the first round so we can jump into it and have a look already at the flight all right in-game sound should be there let's just spectate another one yeah, in-game sound, in sound is there, we can... Yeah, this should be loud enough. Just wanted to double check it, because I couldn't hear anything. So there is the flight. We are spectating right now the King-7 team. Uh, King-7 now will open the current standing in parallel. King-7 on the 10th spot with uh, 6 points behind the secure 8 spot. So they need to get something <coughs> here in the first round. And the flight is starting on the left side of hospital. We are flying over the ruins. Uh, down below the school, close to the prison, into the rough direction here, somewhere in between Lipovka and Milta power plant. So that flight has shifted to the north a little bit, comparing to the center, which is somewhere here of the map. And the first team's already dropping off towards Giorgio. We can see Crozex Moon together with United Esports and Red Marauders, together with Alternate Gaming. Four teams taking over Giorgio, but I think Alternate Gaming Crozex will take the north side of Giorgio. Oh, Crozex Moon turns around, maybe decide already to go to a different position. United Esports definitely will go to the South Giorgio, not to the containers, a little bit more to the left. We saw them dropping there not only one time. Further team is going towards Pushinki, that's the Lost Paradise team. Together with Formazzi, but Formazzi keeps on flying into the rough direction of Avon Post. That was a spot of Red Marauders, it's interesting. Please accept the request of Glenn. Oh yeah, hola buddy. I need to do that. Uh, I will not. I will forget it today as well, because this stream will take for three hours. Um, please be so kind and remind remind me in the next stream, and I need to do it immediately after the round. This major here, going towards the fairy pier in a split, the horseman of the apocalypse in the eastern split of Evan Post, and at this school we can see two teams as well. No, one team basically. King Seven did go towards Rosok. We can see right now here HR the horror teams. And next to them, the hard team. Special exit, yes, Nyaya Poliana, like yesterday and the day before. And on the right side, X got in the Milta power plant split. While we could see the breaking team down below at Milta. And one of the United Esports players already down. This is a thing we didn't see that much in the last days. So we should go over to the first fight of this round, which is happening here right now at Georgia Pole. And they found another one. Yep, two players dead for United Esports. This is not a good way to start into the day's day and they've started the tournament with two chicken dinners and then they couldn't do that much so let's see where they will end up at the end of the day so thank you guys for all being here really appreciate it and if someone else is new don't forget to leave a like and subscribe here right now at 15 likes Red Marauders here, as a full squad, have a good chance to do something. That would be crazy to see them killing or eliminating United Esports. United Esports on the first position, while the Red Marauders are on the position 16, so far away from the top 8. That would be really interesting to see. Let's let's see what, what's going on here. And never say never to the United Esports team. We saw that yesterday already. Even they are only one or two players, they still can strike back. And will have a good chance to secure some kills and even win some fights. But now the enemies are getting closer. We hit the pier. We see Tommy Gun and the MCX. Three guys now inside of the building. And if the enemies don't have any Molotovs, that will be the end for them. Respit was waiting in the next room. The first one knocked Respit in a one versus four. Can't find anything. And that should be the end. Respit still alive in the one versus two. That's it. Red Marauders getting the first four kills in the United Esports out on the 16th position. What's going on? Zero points for them. So they will definitely not hold the lead. Don't think that we will be able to hold it. So GG will play it and right next to them. That is Sorrow from the Crozex Moon team getting slightly over trying to make out something out of the situation. But that's a good start here for the R. 3D team. The first zone shifted to the left and let's see if we can see some further rotations and maybe some upcoming fights. 
No, that's not looking <coughs> like that. All the teams in a safe spot. That should work out for them. Yeah, it should work out for them. From RC here, team military base. The team 20 team exploded in Novo. And the first one starts to move in 2 minutes 15 seconds. So it will take until then to see the first teams really start to move. We may see the one or the other team moving a little bit earlier. As this is usual. This is Soro still trying to find an enemy. His teammates started to shoot already with the DSR. Customized DSR, that is such a nice sound. Kirisake here spotted an enemy already, but no chance to cause any damage at the moment. Oh, some damage caused. And Red needs to be super careful now to not lose the the good start here. They need to keep on doing, going. They need a lot of kills. On position 16, what I've said before, they are there at the moment with a total amount of 15 points. For the top 8, they would need 44. That is 30 points or even 29 points more. I don't believe they will be able to do that today in one single day. But it's still four matches. Everything can happen. You know, like two 20 kill rounds and it would be easy to achieve that. One 20 kill round and some, some medium rounds would help as well. So never say never. Especially at shooter games. And we can see now the first team starting the rotation. Our team crashing both of the two vehicles. They can use now both again. I think it's the time has come to jump over to the map and see the rotations. Yep, yep, yep. King 7 moving, moving out of Rosok. Lost Paradise going towards the, the Mount Everest. Sauron of Crossex Moon is already there. Next to them, Team 23. Hey, that is nice. That is the winner's play team. They are participating today. So maybe they try to get into a good position as well. We have the rest of Crossex Moon still at Giorgio, split away from each other, so that's looking better for the Red Marauders. And that's Horsemen of the Apocalypse, Love getting knocked down to the ground by Red Zone. Not a good start for them. And there is the next roll, next Red Zone, they, they are getting hunted by the Red Zone. Need to be careful, King 7 there, close to the center, taking the building next to the bridge, that is a, a good compound. With Major in a quarry and Fairy Pier split, Format C not starting to move as well as Team 20, the Team Explode. And now, Breaking Team as well as Team 11, X God R starting to move. The hard team moving as well. Ah, so the zone is getting filled up here. And this is Sauron being super close now to Seraphim of Lost Paradise. They need to be a little bit careful. We will see. Oh, and he starts to shoot. Spotted one or two, even two players from the enemy winner's play team. And that's a knockdown against Mikitsa. He tries to find another one. They couldn't see him here. Ah, but now somebody returned to fire and look at Seraphim. Hearing the enemy shoot. Enemy has killed the player. First kill in the hands of Crossex Moon. And he tries to find another one. Yeah, this is... Oh, the enemy did go out of render distance. That was funny to see. Interesting. Oh, that's some further damage caused at the opponent. And look at the rest of the Crozex Moon team. They want to secure now some kills. Smile, you're getting slightly pushed. That will be the end for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No chance. Being in the smoke... And that's a knockdown. Down to one player. It's only Rizdov here. And he needs to be careful as well as Team 7. The hard team. Not that far away. That needs to be... Or that is a dangerous situation here. Good evening, Spectra. Apex, how are you doing? Good evening. And that was Sauron from Crossex Moon. Yep, that's what I thought should happen here. And Lost Paradise with their first kill. What's up? Yeah, we have a tournament here once again. So sorry for answering that late. There is a five minute delay. That's why I can't answer you that fast. And if someone else is new, don't forget to hit that 
like button. We are right now at 15 likes. Let's get to 20. And that was Kirisake with the DSR knocking down one of the Lost Paradise players nearly at max range. And now Exgodaris is here as well, trying to find their spot into the zone. Or inside of the zone. Two minutes left until it comes to an end. Most of the teams are already inside of it. But right here at the center, there is already a nice cluster from the different teams. And we will see some further fights for sure quite soon. With Major moved out of Fair Pier and Formatsy moving all the way around. And if they are lucky and keep on driving on the road, they will meet up here the airdrop with a P19 side. There they are coming. And he spots it. And for sure takes the loot. Level 3 equipment. Nice, nice. Back in the center of the zone. Oh, one of Lost Paradise moved out of their safe spot down the hill. Outside of here, down to 27 HP. That's not looking too good. That's not looking too good. He has recovered. The teammates helping off him out of the position. Ah, the horror teams are split here as well. And Lost Paradise tries to cover the teammate. Crossex Moon with their revive of the forward player. I'm not sure if they will be able to bring his teammate or their teammate down to the ground. Some teams are aiming over. Yep, you can see here the hard team already aiming to the air to see where the green flare was shot to the air. Special X at the north side. We're down to 15 teams. We saw only one team dying. This was United Esports, the leading team. And we've seen some further kills happening, down to 57 players. And Hotta, Horseman of the Apocalypse, not that far away from the Breaking team. Classical standoff in between those two compounds. This would get even tougher when the next zone will be still around this position. And there is a fight happening, we need to go over. Leska found an enemy. No, Leska get. Leska found an enemy, and now Seraphim could take over to the teammate just in time. That was a close one. Getting pushed now from the enemy. Seraphim pushing around. Seraphim with the M416 can get the enemy in a one versus one now. Trying to stay behind the wall so that the teammates can cover him. Down to 39 HP, down to 3 HP, and now he needs to hold really tight. Using some first aid, the enemy is going for the... Yeah, if that was fast, he did go just for a bandage. Oh my god, what a great move with the 32 HP. He moves in and gets the third kill out of this fight, Lost Paradise. Down to three players, but still in the game is 1.3k drone crits. Easy able for them to revive the forest guy. Five kills on the count, that's already five points for them, which is great. So that's time. Let's have a look again at the next zone. It just got announced. Shifted hard to the left side. We've still a lot of water inside. This is one of the craziest zones I've seen here at New State Mobile Erangel. But I mean, it's good. The hard team pushing over here as well. We're down to 49. So that was basically the breaking team. They have lost two players. Hard team. Not sure if they did lose one as well. No. Two kills on account. Not any loses. Ryzen. Thank you. For the membership. Thanks a lot, mate. Thanks a lot, mate. Really appreciate it. And that's the next team moving in here as well. Yo, raising another green member. Thank you. And the level 1 membership is, do ship is down to 1 euro. I have decreased the price for a good reason. Thank you, Ryzen. Didn't see even the other one. The other... The other... Uh, membership. So we have a delay of five minutes. That's why I can't answer you that fast. We can see further teams rotating in. Special X, Mizzou here, driving close to the X God Ardus team. If he keeps on stopping, he will die. He's now in between Cross X Moon and X God. Not looking good. King Seven moving a little bit later. Easy emojis here. Easy emojis. And Red found another one. We should maybe switch over. Yeah, they keep on shooting.
Yep, the emotes are already obtainable from the first level. And that is red. Moving over to another team. They now know what they should do. Push and get some kills. They are playing super aggressive. That's the ex got team. Oh, Rikiem taking a lot of damage by the nade. The force guy is still being quite far away. Advocate with the DS. Uh, with CDP. Trying to get some damage. Now it's, he is needed to stop shooting. The teammates are there. Knocking down the first one. Now in a 3 versus 3 fight, securing another kill. That's at least 5 points. Ricky, I'm going to the second floor. Two enemies still in front of him. Oh, he's down to 53 HP. The other ones moved out. They now they need to be super careful. They need to cover to hold the building. The teammate is shooting from the distance, which is really good. That was a great move. To keep one behind. That is another one knocked down to the ground. And this time from the red team, but they found the other one. It's a one versus two locally now for X God. Why is Noob now? Can he find another one? Starts to shoot, knocks down another one. He couldn't roll inside, but there's another one pushing up. And that is a clean fight once again from Red Marauders. Being at eight kills already. This is crazy. And Red Marauders, what's going on here today? As they have collected so far only 15 points, and that's already eight points just from the kills in this round. This is crazy. They're going really ham. Down to three players. This is the only negative thing, but they are up at 1,000 drone credits and should even be able to revive him after losing, uh, after looting all the stuff. And maybe they have even a green flare now. 1.4k drone credits. That's working. And King Seven with a revive on their side as well, dropping back to the top right position in the next zone. We are down to 45 players and 13 teams. What a great fight! Thanks again, Ryzen. That's amazing for the channel membership. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Viz Major here in the south position. North of Quarry. The next zone is coming to an end quite soon. We can't see any further rotations. Ristov here will not be able to revive a teammate. Just can stay there and hold tight. And Special X Fender. Moving to the next compound. Red has not called in a green flare. Maybe they still got one. We will find it out. Oh, Horizon is 95. Schweizer Franken. Switzer. What is the English word for that? I'm not sure. But thank you, CHF. It's not much, but it's. Oh, thank you, Horizon. Really appreciate it, mate. Really appreciate it. And it's not needed. Thank you. You can all be here for free. Really appreciate it, your, uh, your support. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, mate. That's insane. Oh, and that's further teams moving over. As the next zone got announced, we need to switch over. That's team 15, Grosex Moon. Driving between Special X. They are in a single player uh, split here. This is interesting. Oh, for Marzi, close by as well. Soro crashing the vehicle. That should be the end. There's another team in front of him. Oh, this was not a good move. And he decides to go into the water. The teammate getting shot down. Komatsi starting here to shoot at the Special X team. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The forest guy crashing in. What does this emoji mean? This is the 20 bomb. When a team gets 20 kills in one of the tournaments. It's the 20 bomb. And Red finds some further ones. What's, what the actual hell is going on? We can't even move over. Red still with two players here in a two versus one fight. It's only one enemy left. That is Nazvai here. Oh my god. Red Marauders. That's their best game by far. And they keep on pushing over. Advocat is here. Can he find the enemy? Super low. He's getting knocked now down to one player. Oh, an eight. From Red Tap clears off the team, but they lose another one against Lost Paradise. Still a good round, 12 kills. That's at least 12 points. Top 11, not rewarding any points for the placement, but still a good round. And he's down. And he's alone now. Just needs to secure a good spot, and that will be an insane amount of points. So Ryzen, I'm once again sorry for the delay. Lombi dying. That's the DC team. 
uh, the PR team, not uh, Lombi here. It was breaking team. Miss Major here, down to three players. This is a crazy mid game. We have not ever seen of this group a crazy mid game as this one before. This is good, I like it. And the next one is shifted here to the north. Left and BR are still in the game. Yep, Fantic. He didn't die. The teammate didn't die instant. That's what I thought was happened there. And that was not a squad wipe, so that's still the 11th team. And the other team's all inside of the zone. And look at Red, what a good move. How did he even move over? That is his vehicle. It is done and dusted. A Lost Paradise playing quite aggressive here as well against Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Miss Major loses another one. Yep, this was fake one for Marzi. Yeah, two kills. The other two players being here in South and Giorgio. And the next zone stops already. 25 seconds. That will be the time when we have a look in the next zone. Alternate game getting pushed down to one play already. Terminator and the teammates trying to find some further kills here. Gulash and Terminator. Oh, Terminator recovered. Cryptic here. Low HP Cryptic goes in and finds the last one. Five kills. On the count and the plan to move towards the top eight with five kills that's a good start 5.9k drone credits this is insane 6k they need to be careful with major with two players quite close going for the revive of the third one oh with the yeah the third one coming soon back in and br is dead Horseman of the Apocalypse with the kill. So let's have a short look at the zone number four, which is starting to move in a bit. And look at this zone. There's still like one third filled with water. This makes it interesting as this zone is in reality smaller than the normal zone four. So that will be a nice fight here to come up. Lost Paradise moving in as well. They didn't. They were not able to secure a chicken dinner yet, but eight kills will bring them to the first spot. That is King 7 being super close as well. Lost Paradise keeps on rotating towards the mid buildings. That's a good position. Oh, Outsider going really ham here. We need to get off. Outsider a little bit too aggressive here. Instant breaching in. There are two teams King 7 as well as Miss Major. And Miss Major in some urgent troubles here. Yep, that's the first knockdown against Miss Major done by Seraphim of Lost Paradise. But now. Here, Horsemen of the Apocalypse being here in the same compound as Lost Paradise. They lose the first one. The other three teammates are now soon there as well. That he has. KPS knocked down to dark and left. And now this might be a deciding fight. Seraphim holding it tight. His teammate is knocked in the entrance floor. It's a one versus one. Teammate died. Seraphim taking a first aid. The Ryzen, sorry for answering that late. And that is the next team moving over. Six kills on the count. That's a good move. They saw the kills happening in the kill feed. Team explode. That's why they're pushing over. But still Seraphim here trying to escape. Seraphim, the next building. Lost Paradise down to three. And Cryptic and his teammates have secured a good position. Cryptic staying a little bit back at the other compound. And the zone started to move. It's coming to an end in 30 seconds. And still, the Red Marauders in the game with 12 kills. Three first aids. He is trying to get more first aids. Six now. This is the best decision he could do here. Just go for the healing stand-up. They got already 12 points. That's a decent round. And if they now would be able to drop into the top, tri uh, drop th <laughs> top three. I'm sorry for this German for it. Top three. They will be for sure... Able to get more points here. That's Lost Paradise. Seraphim knocked down to the crown. That's kill number seven in the hands of the team explode. King Seven still holding tight. One player did move a little bit. That's Wish Top One. Oh, moving here in the lines in between the enemy teams. Difficult. Let's see if Gulosh can find an enemy. And they are still inside of the next zone. And there is still some border inside. Giving Krozix Moon a good spot here at the north. Nobody will spot them. They can stay there for a second. This is a good beach position here. We see nice, nice uh, retrine. So they can multi-position. K7 
King 7 needs to move, and that's what they basically are doing at the moment. Wait, tap, five first aids, not that many. Going for the next first aid. Should work. And Krozix Moon found an enemy of the. Not sure if they shut down one of midair. Or maybe from Formazzi, they are down to two players. But they are already inside of the next zone, and that's Cryptic and the teammates oh, playing it. Maybe too offensive, Cryptic will die in between two enemy teams. Getting shot now, an instant turning around, and now he learns that this was not the best move, but luckily he survives. And Red Marauders soon being. He needs to stop. Yep, that's the end. Like a disconnect, he keeps on driving. Now he stops and that's the end. GG on position 8, that's at least one placement point. 13 points, they've had 15 or 16 before and now the fight keeps on going here. Special X found an enemy. Right here at the beach against Formazzi. Formazzi down to one player. Cryptic needs to be careful. Three man team in front of him. Two man team plus an enemy, sorry. Formazzi out on, the, out on the 7. And that can be the win in the hands of Team Explode. They have the best position being in the center in a hard cover. Outsider on the other side finds the second last guy of his major. That's another kill in the hands of Lost Paradise. Still without any chicken dinner here. 13 kills. They are in the lead with the amount of kills. And that is Special X at the beach dying. 9 kills in the hands of Team Explode. This is insane. And that's here with Major Javelin finding one of King 7, securing at least a kill. And they need every single point they can get. But this is stopping the King 7 team a little bit. Next zone starts to move within in a minute. And now they found the enemy three kills. We are down to three teams. Team Explode with the best chances here to win the round. Crozix Moon down to two players and King 7 down to three. Guys, don't forget to leave like. Really appreciate your support. Thank you for all being here. Terminator. Kulash being here in the one building. <clears throat> yeah, they have definitely the best position here inside of the hard compound. But King 7 will be able to move over. That will be super hard for Krozix Moon to get into the top two. Oh, Kisaka couldn't hit that shot with the DSR. And now it will be a hard one for them to move over. There is a little bit of a cover. Cryptic waiting for them. Nice wall of smoke popping off. Cryptic shooting into it already with the Orc. Cryptic A to shot, they need to be careful now, as from the other side King 7 has some good angle to him. But Cryptic still tries to hold it really offensive. Let's switch over to Q Nasty. Oh, it didn't leave me. And Krozix Moon is in the safe spot. But Kirisake getting nearly knocked. Still smoke helping them and Qnasty knocking down Gulash. That gives now King 7 and themselves the chance to still win this game. Terminator going for a revive and that's Cryptic with a knockdown against Kirisake. Trying to get back to the teammates. Looks at the smoke. Ooh, and they need to cross the street. They need to cross over towards King 7. The things have changed. Oh no. Oh no. So this round we won't see the 20 bomb. Ryzen. Krozix Moon taking further damage from King 7. And that's the end. Yarek finding that kill. Four kills on their count. And they are in the fight against the Team Explode. The both teams have been King 7 on the 10 and Team Explode on the 11 with only one point in between. So that is the instant yeah, mashup here between the two teams for the top 8. Lost Paradise, yeah.
As usual, this is this is a good good call. Hope they get the chicken dinner today. They have deserved it. And look at Cryptic, he's already on the other side. He made it over. Throws in an eight. Nate was thrown too far. Oh, the Molotov. Needs to be careful. It's a 4 versus 3 advantage for them. But not looking too good. But that's their the best round. King 7, that's a good round for them as well. Cryptic and the teammate has arrived. Terminator is here. And they try to take over the compound. Goulash. Nearly dropping into the blue zone. That's Cryptic knocking down Yarek. He was in the wave on the way to flank. Kinesti is still with a decent position. That was kill number 11. What a good round. Two versus three. Now it's a two versus. Uh, it's a one versus two. All right. Still a chance for King 7. They at least security two kills. One versus two. Versus Cryptic and Demon. Is he able to clutch it? Oh, he exactly knew where the enemy was sitting at. He's close to the next zone. What a crazy finish. 1 versus 2. It was a 2v4, now down to 1v2. 12 kills in the hands of Team Explode. 6 kills in the hands of King7, so Team Explode will definitely get a lot of points here, at least 18, and that will bring them into the top 8. Zone starts to move in 25 seconds. Demon with the best position, well knowing he will be hit from the blues on the first. Okay, the second. Yep, that's the King 7 player getting hit really early. Oh, Cryptic, not aware that the enemy is that close, but the zone is killing him. GG, well played. That's the first win, the first chicken in the hands of Team Explode. Well played. We're going again fast through the scoreboard. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. So let me see if I got their logo. GG well played. The zone is finishing off that fight. GG well played. So I will go into a short break and we'll update the current standing. That's 22 points for them. So let me shortly update the next screen so i got the info they don't have a logo but this is all right gg well played team explode they will move towards the top eight or inside already we will find it out after a short break so thank you guys for still being here and i will be back for you after a really short break like 12 minutes let me check it out. Yep. All right. That was the first round out of four. We will see us again on Troy and with for sure the updated scoreboard. Thank you guys for still being here. Leave a like, leave a subscribe and I'll be back for you after a short break.
Mucho tiempo más No quiero perder lo que queda Seguimos siempre la pasión Y confiamos solo en el amor yeah. No quiero perder lo que queda Y más y más allá A través de la gran oscuridad Hasta que me convierta en rayo Welcome back everybody, the second round awaits on Troy, good evening everybody, hello, 
guys and i hope you guys are doing great i've had a short issue with my computer but now everything is running so this was the round number nine out of 12. that means we have still three rounds to go and let me shortly check the updated scoreboard should be all right that's 16 points in the last round for lost paradise and they have taken over the lead but i don't want to talk about it longer without seeing it here it is <coughs> that's the current standing with lost paradise on the first but without any chicken dinners united esports with their two chicken dinners on the second position they could only secure one kill there and we have crozex moon on the third position they really secure a kill or is this an issue i will find it out we have crozex moon on the three with 81 points for with 75 73 for breaking team on the five 62 for special x and yeah we can see top eight horsemen of the apocalypse in the top eight still close king seven four points behind this major dropping to top 10 and team explode from top 11 to the top seven as i said before everything is possible x got others dropped a little bit as well it's 42 points this is somehow crazy so i'm curious to see where we will end up this was the second round and i will now just check the screenshot of the first one yeah they had already 89 points so that should be correct so that's the current standing waiting now for the next round on troy to start we are there with 55 players and a minute to go and then we will see the next round starting here in a second so there was any kind of issue with the computer i don't know really what happened but now it's working <coughs> so there we are 58 players and the next round starting in a couple of seconds what do you think guys will united esports now strike back or will they lose another fight and maybe drop another position i mean they are still on position two with eight points ahead of crozex moon but crozex moon have shown that they are really good as well with some good results like every round they have had i'm not sure they didn't have any any zero point round so this is going to be interesting yeah one position four still for mount c 75 they have shown good results as well but the surprise in this round was definitely the Red Marauders on the one side, being now at 28 points. They can redo that. They will step over to the top 8. Still a lot of points behind. But that was a good round. So there we are, ready on Troy. The next round will start soon. And before we jumping into the next round, let's have a look at the trailer. This is just the start of the 1500 euro tournament with the group C. Next week we will see group D and then already the semi-finals starting. That's what the guys are playing here for. Top 8 for the semi-finals and step by step towards the final stage of the tournament. And there we are with the next flight starting at the bottom right side down below Vermont. We are there with 15 teams and 59 players. So one team compared to the first round didn't make it. It's team 23 UNS play team GG. And the flight keeps on going next to Graveyard, next to the exhibit hall over Swanton and Penrose. And we are ending our flight on the top left side. So again, this flight is super close towards the center, which is in the right next to the mall. And that means most of the teams will be able to get to the desired position. Lost Paradise again towards the graveyard. For Matsi to Shelton and one player maybe going a split again. We have their horsemen of the apocalypse going towards Loganville. His major corn will probably alternate gaming as well. And this time Red Marauders are not going. No, they are going to the mall, but the opponents 
of King 7 and not going there. That's what I was mixing up there because we have seen now every round of fight between those two teams. And this time King 7 decided to not go there. They are going to the factory instead, which was empty all the rounds which we have seen. Demon, be careful, there's Seraphim close to you. Maybe he spotted it already. We have no hot drops happening, which is quite logical as we are there with only 15 teams. Yo, Ryzen! This is Demon moving back to the teammates at Bay Area, and it should work out good for them. This may change a 2 and 2 split, and they need every point. They dropped down from the 8 to the 10. Last round yesterday was good. Maybe this one will be good as well. We have their United Esports at Chester. And that's interesting to see. Special X is still at the apartments every single round that they get over. United Esports, they started really, really, really good into the tournament, but after that there was not that much more they have done. That's why they are on the second position, not on the lead anymore. First zone shifted around them on to the bottom right side. Even the starting island, the starting base is inside of it. That does not happen that often. And that's... PR moving over towards Bay Area. Or will they go over to Vermont? They will go over to Vermont already. They spotted the first. So that's already the first team rotating in. This is nice to see. This is nice to see. Oh, they're stopping a little bit earlier. Right here at the compound. Okay. Wait a second. What are they doing? We, we will find it out with Major and the 2 and 2. Split still here, right there in the northern position. X got R as a trailer park in Hillard. Position which I have preferred in the preseason. There is quite a good amount of loot, and I can totally understand why one player is going towards the trailer park. Hillard is good. Uh, there are some further little compounds, especially the compounds in between trailer park and Hillard are uh, good as well. And we have seen these positions really being super good in the yeah, later zones if the zone is ending there. So, breaking team is really going there. A little bit around in the split. I'm not sure if they have spotted an enemy team and were a little bit afraid to go towards Mesa. That's their common drop. But let's find it out. Breaking team at the moment in a safe position. Breaking team being on the 5 with 73 points. A little bit of lead, but still three rounds to go. Good cause for them. Disaster as well. If they will not get that many points and other teams like the team explode or red murderers will take further points or even king seven king seven definitely playing this round a little bit safer and we can have a look at them at their position right here at the factory and it seems as yarek is at the moment afk yesterday we have talked about the factory and this position here as so far nobody of this group did land here bring the future Everything starts somewhere. The world builder. King 7 still looting. Maybe not that happy with their loot. And this major going all over towards the city hall. Alright. Alright. Javelin forever, Yamasaki and fake one. Let's see what they can do. I am not sure if that is the correct tactic. I've mentioned it before. Last streams. Is this tournament is focusing on, on the amount of kills, not on the position. So if you just stay alive until the later zones and try to get some placement points, this will most likely not work, as the amount of placement points is not that high. We can see Red Marauders in the first round with 12 kills, 12 points, and only one point for the 8 position. They have focused on the kills, and it seems as they are rotating out quite early here as well to... Get an advantage. United Esports. Froggy has getting super early out of Chester. I mean, the first zone starts to move in 30 seconds. That is already a good distance he has moved. Yep. Red Murders are moving over. And Cryptic and the teammates may go over to Vermont. 
Lost Paradise aiming towards Vermont as well. Or to that position where we have seen yesterday the breaking team. This was a great position. Still can be a good one here. And Lost Paradise this time taking it really early to not give it away to the other teams. So it will be interesting to see if one of the different teams will move over there as well. Right now here in the position of Advocate. Or our teams and King7 starting to rotate as well. And there is an airdrop. Coming down somewhere in the distance. And thank you guys for all being here. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave a like. Let's get to the 30 likes. That would be awesome. And that is Wish Top 1 in the red zone. And the fight will come up here in between Red, Marauders and Lost Paradise. Hardest team to fight at the moment. <coughs> but they just keep on moving. Some damage done by Rekiem. No, oh, I couldn't hit that shot. And the teammates are super close now to the Team Explode. This is an interesting fight. Before the last round I would have said, hey, this should be the win in the hands of Team Explode. But they keep on moving. Cryptic hurt them and get afraid of moving away now. Going to another position. King7 not that far away now. Vermont will be definitely a hotspot. HR down below the high ground from Lost Paradise. We have seen a nice stand up between those two positions yesterday already. Many more fights to come here in this round. This is a this is already speaking for a crazy game like last round with a lot of fights in the mid game. But look at the two teams, Crossex Moon and Special X. They are on a quite safe spot. Playing it's a little bit more defensive with their late move into the zone. They will leave to will let the other teams fight it before they enter the zone. Leska here moving away from the teammates. Position where we have seen the breaking team once in the rounds on Troy. But let's see what's going to happen here. Breaking team rotating in as well. The first zone is coming to an end in three minutes. Still a lot of time left. We can have a look at the map once again. So the flight was there, still close to the center of the zone. And on the left side, United Esports entering the current safe zone. Horseman of the Apocalypse still at Loganville. Oh, that's a breach from his teammate. Mavrodi. Knock down one of the enemies of X God, and they need every point as well. Hunter is there. Fanatic is there as well. Fanatic, I mean, sorry. It was just for the confusion, and now they are down to one player. Breaking team, striking bad. That was really good. Down to two players. I missed the guy in the background. Hulk and Wise Noob and Lost Paradise eating some shots as well. Guess from the HR team. And they need to be super careful here. As the HR team is moving over, they can see the smokes. Oh, they have lost another one. Hulk got knocked down to the ground, so it would have been a 1v1, but the enemy ex god team going for revives, and Lombi just keeps on driving. A vehicle exploded. And that's another knockdown by Hunter. Lombi driving through. The shields find another one, but now Lombi is getting knocked, but that's the end. The vehicle or either the hard team helped them there and Hunter is three kills. Yep, that was a team. That was the finished from the hard team. So that is the breaking team down to one player. This is definitely not good. As I said before, they are on the fifth position with 73 points and the lead off uh, still 29, 19 points. Sorry, 19 points for top eight. This could already be enough if they just secure some more points, but... Well, we will see. We will see it later on. This major, we saw that already the last days. I don't know what they are doing in these early game rotations. It seems as they can't decide for a spot and that has cost them that many players already in the other rounds. With their long rotation. Horseman of the Apocalypse moving down to the south, coming now via the Golden Gate Bridge. Bridge. Lost now in a 2 and 2 split, this is risky. And Graveyard taken by United Esports with 2.7k drone grids. This time they're playing it more defensive. Let's see if they can get some points right here out of this round. Crossex Moon close to a player of Special X. 
need to be a little bit careful as well. And the first zone is coming to an end in 14 seconds. Oh, here we go with the new Rion T. Really nice skin. From the Moon Knight crate. And there we go. The next zone is a donut. Not shifted really well. The Vermont is still the center. And that causes why maybe Horsemen of the Apocalypse will move over. Hotta team, they still keep on rotating. His major still rotating as well. The two other players found the compound in the top left position of the zone. Okay, Saki here, close to alternate gaming, eating some shots. But still surviving it. It is nice to see the teammates still rotating but keep on moving in a different location now to not get shot as well. Lost Paradise found one of his major. Take one knocked down to the ground and now the teammates javelin and forever in a dangerous situation they will die forever getting shot and look at united esports <laughs> going really mad here that's the end yep forever got knocked united esports was their first kill in the round and that looks much better playing against super aggressive and they got the kill. Lost Paradise, the best. Yeah, they are on the lead. Nasty. You sure? Or nasty, whatever. And United Esports wants to take over the lead again. Let's see if they are able to do that. Lost Paradise. Zero kills so far, so they've only lost one point against the enemies. And now they keep on shooting at the enemies of his major. Trying to secure their first kill in the round. 1.9k drone credits. And what's happening at Vermont? Yep. Horsemen of the Apocalypse moved over. Seeing three teams being in the Vermont, but all the three teams in a safe spot. Vermont is that big that they can easily stay there without getting shot. And that is still Hunter for the breaking team. He's calling in a green flare. That is good. Can go for a revive. Alternate gaming and special legs need to move as well into the zone. But bless Gabon. No, he's not a bot. I think he's a human being. Now they need to fight. They need to fight right here. Against United Esports. Froggy is trying to climb the hill, trying to get that position. Respite is there to help him off as well. And that is Krozex Moon. Starting to join the fight while they have lost the player against the horror teams. First kill for them as well. Sayorix, the vehicle starts to burn. That will be the end. Yep, and that kills goes into the hands of United Esports, but that was a nice nade by Seraphim from Lost Paradise, knocking down two, and Kubidon is already going to a different position, Moon, his teammate, trying to support him while he's escaping, can Kelvin find the enemy, but that's two further kills, now at three kills for Lost Paradise, and that is a disaster for United Esports once again, at one kill, but down two, two players, that's not looking too good. And we have made it to 30 likes. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Feel free to hit that subscribe button as well. This is alternate gaming. Down to two players moving over. Close to misery from Special X, but the teammates are not here. That's why he hurt the enemies. Looking afraid to the left. Oh, Satsura, be careful. That was Team 21 from RC. Starting to shoot instant at them. There we go. United Esports moving. They have 1.5k drone crits, so they can go for the revive. If they find the proper place. Flaska. Still being alone in this spot. Hard to hold alone, but we will see. If he can make something good out of the situation. Flaska not finding an enemy with Major. Still at this compound, they've lost the player. Probably against Leska and his teammate. Yep, he got a kill, so he has killed one of Divas major players. The next zone's coming soon to an end. Special X still in their rotation, being this time super late. And then we should have a look at the next zone to come up. BR down to two players. We're down to one, 400 drone credits. They have maybe planned to go for another revive. 
And the next zone will show up in 17 seconds. King 7, not with the revive. And that's the team number 6, the Red Marauders. With their first good round now, they are still at 0 kills. No chance to hot drop a team. Last time they played it quite aggressive and then they got pushed and they still could defend themselves, making it to 12 kills. That is really good in a single round. And the next zone is a is now known and it seems as they will rotate. So let's have a look at the upcoming zone. It's shifted to the south side, where Mont only potentially in. Red Marauders need to move if they want to get a better spot. Same counts for the Team Explode with number 20. Horsemen of the Apocalypse can stay there. There's, with some luck, they will be able to stay there for more than one zone. Calvin taking of Leska. Lost Paradise may stay at their zone as well. As they start to shoot at the HR team. Special X now in an earlier rotation. Close to United Esports. Will they stop by and aim down the hill? Probably. And that's the breaking team moving in as well. And now a player got knocked there and even finished Horseman of the Apocalypse with a kill against the team explode. And now further rotations coming up and we need to switch over. This will end up in some fights here. Red Marauders being followed, getting followed by the hard team. Getting off at the south position is Vermont. They get they got back here to Vermont. Didn't keep on moving, alright. Special X finding one of format C, if I'm right. Yep, yep, yep. No, format C is still next to them. I don't know, they found at least a kill and United Esports. The guy is back on the ground, back in the game with his three man team. So let's see. Oh, that is, is this is so exciting to see the first two teams struggling a little bit. Uh, Lost Paradise, two and two split. King seven, they need every point they can get. They have moved into the ninth position. 50 points, four points behind the top eight. And with Major 49, one point less. So they are all really close to each other. It's Major here in the top right side. I think if we follow them, they will breach into the Team Explode. And Alternate Gaming, that's what we have seen. Lol, I couldn't see them before. Alternate Gaming out on the 14, if I'm right. Let's have a look at the team number 19. Yep, they are done and dusted. That's the second kill in the hands of Special X. Let's have a look at Terminator and the teams. This Major not going straight to their position. Oh, fake one, getting shot from Demon. And Crozex Moon, not that far away. 30 shots, oh, with Major, good position here. This one is super hard to hold, in my opinion, because it's such a large area where someone can move over that little ridge line, and he's covered quite a long time so that you can't properly see it. Respite. Getting shot out of midair, was that right? Yeah, Respite. They can't revive him. That is the third kill for the hard team. Back at 45 players with 13 teams. And the drone used by the HR team spotting the enemy. Oh, the nade hurt. And he nades himself, Seraphim. This is a disaster. How will they get their self out of this fight? I mean, they are on the first position, they they will not move out of the top eight. What a good aim, nearly finds the enemy, but now Seraphim is dead. And for sure, that's the second kill from the HR team. And Horsemen of the Apocalypse getting pushed down to two players. The red team already found two, finished one. But they needed to stop a little bit. KPS pulled off an eight. <coughs> Advocate moving around into the main building here at Vermont. It's a 3 versus 4 disadvantage fight. Let's see which team is going to win it. 
Oh, Rekiem is already in a good position, loses some HP, but the enemies they are like 40 HP as well. Molotov blocking off the stairs, the teammates try to support him. Red tip, red tip sees the enemy getting knocked. But that's it again, the player of Horseman of the Apocalypse, low HP. And that's a good trade, Advocate finding the enemy. Securing the kill, getting followed, getting not. Uh, the teammate is there, Rekiem. And he finds another one, but he is traded as well. Down to one player, Kid versus now again two players as Red Tip got revived. Advocate covered at the moment. This could end quite good. Enemy is going for the revive as well. They were faster, so they need to be super careful. Lots of M7s here. And the new Scar with the 7mm ammo. This is nice to hear. CC2 customization, if I heard it correct. Advocate recovering. Yep, it's CC2 customization. Now it's a 3 versus 2 fight. United Esports fighting as they moved in. Rosex Moon moving in as well, but we will stay here for a second. Left trying to hold the stairs. Ooh, Advocate on the other side. Down to one player. Horseman of the Apocalypse. He finds another one. 1v1 left. Can he get the last kill? He moves outside, gets back in. And that's the fight and Red Marauders with 36 seconds. They will be able to pick up the teammates again. Three kills, good fight. Red Marauders still in the game as a three-man team, but they need to rotate. Jumping straight to the next fight. Krozex Moon getting pushed from Special X and Sauron, be careful. Straight driving over, that's the end. Couldn't even hit him. Tire broke. The vehicle starts to burn, that's the end. Oh, but the enemies are in the blue zone. Special X with a major issue here. Sauron recovered already. HR fighting Lost Paradise moving over. And they are in the game as a full squad. They already found two of the enemy team. Down to Darcy and Denia. Denia. Teammates coming over, Vlaska is there, and United Esports still somehow in the game with three players, two kills on account for Matsi at the edge, losing one, and that is Lost Paradise securing further kills, eliminating the enemies of horror teams, being at seven kills once again, a good round for them. Every single round they are nearly the top fraggers, or even are the top fraggers, but how is it going for our Red Marauders team? Next zone shifted to the top mid, so we can have a look once again at this zone as there is a team in the center. This is the team Explode with Cryptic, Demon, Terminator and Goulash. Best position. But I don't believe that they will be able to hold it that good. As all the other teams can aim towards that position. And by the way, Red, down to two players, 11 teams remaining, no placement points yet. Lost Paradise moved over here at the edge of the next zone. For Marzi at the bottom left side, close to King 7. Our team starting to shoot explode. Oh, it's Special X, so let's have a look if they can secure a kill. Not yet. Getting into the vehicle. Two seconds until the zone starts to move. They are moving over, two teams in front of their position, not even in United Esports, starting to shoot. Moon could dodge the vehicle. Special X lost two, losing another one, super low HP. And now with Major here, found one of the hard team. Fighting now against United Esports. Can't get Froggy, yes, and Kubidon is there, knocking down the first. Kubidon, can he find another one? He can! Major move from United Esports, still in the game as the three-man team, at three kills, that soon will be more. But this is Yamasaki moving over with the vehicles, tries to find one of the United Esports players, getting knocked now as well by Froggy, yes. Good teamwork, now they are up at six kills. Seven kills, even. That was fast. Next zone shifts to the top right side. Not a single team inside. And look at Red Marauders. Three first aids remaining. 
Going for another one. It's not that far to the zone. He maybe can go over. King 7 in the zone. Wish top 1. No first aids. He needs to run faster. That will not work. No. No, no, no. And he's getting shot from Lost Paradise. They are at 8 kills. So we may see a good fight coming up in between Lost Paradise and United Esports. The two leading teams. And Ask still has a first aid and a medikit. Only a few meters to go even for the next zone, but Froggy is from United Esports starting to shoot at him. Now that's the end. Only five, that's some placement points. It's all right. United Esports, eight kills now. Oh, this score will be really interesting. Red Marauders taking over another position. But now Froggy has got knocked. Still here, team exploded through four players. Right behind them, Lost Paradise down to two. And we have the breaking team playing it from the northern edge. They were down to one player, add three players in a solid position. And the only full squad is right there in the center of the current zone. It's the team explode. And they have won the last round. Let's see if they can win another one. This time, the worst position. But still a good cover in front of their position. Yeah, they can they can still win it. Two vehicles on the count and still here. Good cover, good ridge line. Even outside on the right side. Can't do that much. The teammate Seraphim moving in. BR is moving in as well. The fight comes up. United Esports down to one player. It's only Moon left as he's in between several teams. United Esports out on the four. Bringing us to a 2v4v2 two, 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 as BR loses another one. And that's now the best position in the hands of Team Explode. And Cryptic finds another one. Keeps on spraying. Can't finish off that guy. But they are both knocked down to the ground. So it will be the fight. Four versus two versus one in the hands of the breaking team. Uh, team explode. I'm sorry. Breaking team down to one. <laughs> team explode with five kills soon. Yep, there's the fifth one. But Cryptic eating some shots from Hunter. Oh, that is only the skin, the hitbox. Now we could hit him. Now it's a 3 versus 2 versus 1. Lost Paradise tries to finish off Hunter first. Good round for them. Breaking team 7 kills and top 3. That's the end. Lost Paradise now in a 2 versus 4. Will that be their first chicken dinner or will they again not get it? They have a disadvantage. But they have a good position to the next zone. They don't need to move that far. And they knock down Terminator as well as another one. That's a 2v2 now. Demon getting into the smoke. Loses Cryptic there as well. Yep. Down to two. Gulash is there with the shotgun. Guess they have revived him quite late. Oh, the enemy is low. Oh, but Seraphim got him. And that's the end. Lost Paradise securing their first chicken dinner with 14 kills. Team explode on the second spot. GG. Just going fast through the scoreboard. So that we have everything here. You know it already. GG well played. Lost Paradise. Definitely staying after this round on the first spot. GG well played to them. What a nice finish. They had this time not the advantage. There was nothing to lose for them. And they did win the round. That was really nice. Looking for the logo. There it is, we got it already. As they have won around during the scrims. That's what I've said before. They have shown good results and some really dominating rounds. Let me shortly. Update their logo. And then we will see us again after a really short break. GG well played Lost Paradise finally securing their deserved chicken dinner. I will be back in like around 12 minutes. To the next round. So good luck to everybody for the next round already.
I will do the calculation. Thank you guys for all being here. 30 viewers. That's insane. Let's get to 40 likes. GG will play it to Lost Paradise. Securing their first chicken dinner. And for sure securing their first position at least for now. I will be back for you after a short break with two rounds to go today.
Took a swing at a wrecking ball and I prayed for my downfall and I found a way to reconcile cause in my heart it's not worthwhile. It's a bloody battlefield where some go down on the seal. In the end it's all the same. All you can do is play the game. Just sad to say I'm sorry, so lie and pretend that you're okay. Swear that you will stay. Keep trying for one day.
Hello everybody and welcome back for the third round which is going to start really soon, two minutes to go. I've updated the current standing and Lost Paradise for sure still being on the first position with their first chicken dinner. The more interesting thing is that we have now nine different teams after ten rounds with a chicken dinner. Only United Esports with two chicken dinners and that was in the first two rounds. So this is kinda crazy. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. <coughs> You can see 124 points in the hands of Lost Paradise. Being on the lead with 92 kills, that's insane. We have United Esports, 101 point, 13, no, 23 points behind. So they have definitely lost the lead and it will be super hard for them to get back to the lead with two rounds to go. Third position, the breaking team really solid with 85 points ahead of Crozex Moon with 84, 76 for Format C with being on the 5th position, 70 points for Team Explode, so they did take another step to security top 8. Now being on the 6th position, 86 points for Special X with in the 7th position, and then a little gap of 12 points to the 8, where Horseman of the Apocalypse is sitting at. King 7 right behind with only 3 points behind, as well as with Major, so these two teams definitely want to grab the top 8, and this will be possible. It's only 3 points. That is nearly nothing. X Godar is still a good chance as well with only 11 points for the top 8. You can quite easy take over that. And the other teams, it will be super hard for them. Even the Red Marauders have shown today much better rounds, 34 points. But they will need a chicken dinner now. Otherwise, it will not be possible for them anymore. So right now, 54 players inside of the lobby. It's getting a little bit less. We are missing two. That means we would have their only 14 teams this time. This is a little bit sad. And I can't understand why the teams are not finishing the rounds. Um, because... Uh, because... Um, I, don't, I don't understand it that they... Um, even if they are on a low position, they just use it as a training. That's a thing I don't understand, but we will see what's happening in the next round. 55 players being here, that means one three-man team and 13 full squads. And now there's another player, so we may see another team. No, we are starting with 14 teams. Good luck to everybody. And let's have a look at the next round starting. At Erangel. Before we do that, let's have a look again at the trailer. This is just the beginning. This is the group stage of the 1.5k Euro Tournament, the new Stadio Spring League Season 1, with more to come in the next weeks. There we go, with the flight starting on the bottom right side next to Novo and we're flying to the top left, roughly to the hospital. This is looking really interesting. And if we have a deeper look at it, the first teams will drop off to Novo. That should be Team Explode. Komatsi going to the military base again. We may see the breaking team at Milta. X got maybe Milta power. The Hotter team right here at this position, together with maybe with Major at the Ferry Pier. We know the, the spots of them if they can reach it. United Esports will go to Giorgio, Red Marauders maybe as well. We will find it out. The Red Marauders have landed yesterday at Evan Post. And the first team's dropping off here instant, that's for sure. The team explode going to Novo, Formazzi going towards the military base. X God in a split next to the Milta power plant and we have there the breaking team as Milta so all the teams which I've predicted are right Special X will move over to Yasnyaya it's quite a long distance for them to drive but it will work and here at Pushinki we can see Lost Paradise together with the HR team that is 
the horror team, so we will drop down with them as they will be the first fight to happen. With Major, together with the hard team, and maybe another fight coming up in Thousand Georgia Pool, Red Marauders, Crozex Moon, and United Esports. And for these teams, everything counts, especially for Red Marauders. If they want to have a spot in the top 8, they need to get a lot of kills and win the round. But right now, being down here at Pushinki, let's have a look at the first upcoming fight between the horror teams and Lost Paradise. Lost Paradise on the lead with. I have no doubt that they will stay there. Thank you guys for all being in the stream. Really appreciate it. If someone else is new, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for free. Really appreciate your support on the left side. This is already Bad Dania. Close to Vleska. Vleska here is the shotgun. It's gonna be a hard fight for him. Or for her, whatever. Let's see. Lost Paradise a little bit around and we need to have a look here. Yep. That's what I thought could happen here. That's Advocate. Finding already one from the enemies of United Esports. Froggy as this time the first guy. They have dropped much closer to each other like last time. But still they lose one. Now they traded one. Three versus three remaining. Fordask needs to get over to the teammate and revive him. Otherwise it will be super hard. Let's see. Respite and Moon in the same building could be done in the next one. And they are going for the revive. Let's see if Moon is moving over. He's aiming at the other building but can't see anybody. So this will be for now the stand of here and Red Marauder is knocking down Respite. So that could be now a fast execute as this would be a 4 versus 2 advantage where they have revived their force guy. And another nade finishing off. What a perfect nade from Red Tap. How can he even hit that inside of the building? This nade was was golden right here, even causing some damage at Moon. And now they have definitely a 4 versus 2 advantage with Red Tap using some bandages to recover. That's looking not too bad for them, but be patient. The same stand up as a stand up like last time. I've said there as well, United Esports never will give up and. Even as a two-man team or even as a solo player, they have shown us some potential, some good fights. And you never know if you will win the fight against them. So let's see what Red Marauders are doing. If they can get another 12 kill round and maybe the chicken dinner, that's 22 points. They will have a good spot towards the top 8. So let's find out what they are able to do here. Requiem. Try to jump over. <laughs> He's a little bit afraid of it. And there he jumps over, couldn't hold his position down to like 40 HP. Yep, 38, so this costs some HP if you drop over. But it works, I've seen that multiple times working. And now Kubidon getting pushed here at the stairs. Holding tight, and Molotov causing some damage at him. And another nade of Requiem, good job. And now it's only Moon in a 1 versus 4 situation. This is not looking good for United Esports, while Lost Paradise is fighting against the HR team. You will instant switch over. That is Moon. Can't get one. That's the end. Dread Marauders with four kills in the game as a full squad. GG. What a good start. Again here at the Rangel. And we are going over towards Pushinki. The fight is ongoing between the horror teams. One guy left versus at least three enemies. Maybe even four. The enemies are dropping in. That's the end. Lost Paradise. Quad wipe here as well at pushing. We are down to 12 teams and 47 players with two teams. Four kills secured. That's again an insane start right now here at pushing key. Horseman of the Apocalypse next to them. Here's already a red flare. Lombar uh, Lombi from Breaking Team. Yep, yep. Some fan base. We are Lombi with Hunter, Fantic, and Marodi together. The breaking team being at the moment on the position of three with a solid 85 point and a good lead for the top eight. So they should be able to hold this position and stay in the top eight until the end of this evening. Uh, we can see the first zone. Really safe zone there in the center of the island. It's a good one. Now Crossex Moon, they are on the fourth position. There is basically not the urgent need for them to fight. But again, one player moved over. And this time it's looking a little bit better here for Crossex Moon. <laughs> but we will see. 
mit Brody, Fan, Tecante, Lombie, Dead, CBR, Squad, Dead, Ford, Ask here from the Red Marauders, nearly getting knocked down by Sorrow. They need to be careful. They need to be careful. Further shots dropping off here, this time from Red Tap. CM24. But they keep on moving. The first zone starts to move already in five seconds. What a furious start. So I think we can have a look at the zone and the rotations of the different teams. We have already seen the zone shifted, not really that much, being around the horsemen of the apocalypse there. On the Potato Hill, that's what I've learned at PUBG Mobile. I'm not sure if that is the common name here. It is, I've heard it is from, from PUBG Battlegrounds. And that is the x -God team getting slightly closer. Breaking team at Milta getting closer as well. Still the team explode at Novorb Neue. Next to them, that is the Format C team. Format C team in the top 8 as well, if I have a look at the scoreboard. They are at the moment at the top 5 is 76 points. And the 20 point lead did should be enough for them to stay in the top 8 as well. But never say never. We have already seen lots of decent stuff to happen. And Crozex Moon still holding tight against Red Marauders. They don't need basically the fight. They need just them some points and will be easy able to stay in the top 8. But maybe they want to secure just some points. Special X moving out of Yasnaya with two players. So that's definitely a cluster building up in the center of the next zone. Hard team. It go to Primorsk, being in a good position there as well. And we have here Special X. Uh, all four guys in a vehicle. And Crozex Moon leaving the fight. As I've said it before. Couldn't believe that it will take it that early fight. Not being in the first safe zone. I mean, they have a good lead for the top 8, yes, but this would be too risky in my opinion. Just play one round, save again, and then you can do whatever you want to do in the last round and go crazy with a 20-point lead for the top 8. I don't think you will get passed by all the other teams. That will not be possible in the last round. Maybe it's even not possible in two rounds, so that's why they are playing more aggressive. And they're still holding it. Alright, so we can jump over and see what's going on at this position. I hope my friends from Los Paradise won the last... At least one chicken dinner, yes! And now Crozix Moon... Or oh, firing some shots at the vehicles to destroy the utility of the opponents. So Lost Paradise has won the last round, that was their first chicken dinner, but they have an insane amount of kills, so they are on the lead. And that's Crozix Moon getting into their vehicle, starting the rotation as well as we can see the first zone hitting the edges of the island. And the center spot is getting filled up with the different teams. The breaking team here, Northern of the farm, and their rotation 2.6k drone credits. Still in the rotation. Oh, that happened yesterday already, if, I, if I'm right. That's a fight coming up in between Format C and the team explode, and they want to dodge the fight. I think Gulash spotted the enemies there, as he was super close and did turn around instant. They know that they're coming from there. We, we all know these, these common spots. I think this guy. Could have been spotted probably, but but we, we don't know. Some bullets already fired, possible by them. Look at Slicks with 442 bo uh, ammunition or bullets. This is insane. And they are now moving away around, going to the center bridge. There is enough time to stay there, but at the moment nobody is covering the bridges so they would be able to secure move over. But this is an interesting move here from from RC. I think the other one's quite defensive, holding now offensive the bridge. I'm proud for them. It's all there for training ETC. I just put some tactical advice. Nice hooligan, that's good. Yeah they're playing it uh, really aggressive and this, this tournament this is the, the key to, to success because kills are giving you 
more points compared to the placement points, so you should play aggressive and get some kills. Um, even if you die early and get 8 kills, that's 8 points. Most of the other teams will not be able to get 8, to uh, kill, uh, eight points in a single round. They are taking their way back here. Yeah, they want to go to the middle bridge. That's what, what I would have done as well. And that is... Xgod losing one. That was a fast kill from the breaking team right now here being still north of the farm. I don't think that they will fight here. They are called in already a green flare. Rosex Moon in their rotation. Close to Gatka and the next zone got announced. Let's have a short look at the rotations as the team started again to rotate. Rosex Moon still in the rotation. King 7 getting into the vehicle. Now they can stay there. At the apartments at the school, Kunest is still at Rosok. Ooh, Krozik's moon. Very close towards the enemy team and Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Oh, they can see each other. Horsemen of the Apocalypse found a knockdown. Oh, they've lost one against Lost Paradise. Lost Paradise going for the next attack. And Horsemen of the Apocalypse trying to cover the teammate. That is not a good decision. They will lose. This fight against Lost and look at this, Krozik's Moon Red. Maruro is not that far away and look at this, this decision might have been good but now they are close to the hard team. The team explode while we could see here, Horsemen of the Apocalypse fighting, Krozik's Moon fighting, Red Maruro is losing to Sauron now getting traded. But the other players of Krozik's Moon are there, it's a 2 vs 3 disadvantage fight for the Red Marauders. They find one as well, now it's Rikium in a 1 vs 2 fight. Getting spotted by the enemy, can't defend it, that's the end, Red Marauders out. Krozix Moon with a clean fight. Two players knocked down to the ground in what's happening here, that's what I've said before. They might have had the good feeling on the other bridge, but now they are here together with three other teams from Marzi in front of them. Hard team and with Major rotating with them. And Lost Paradise keeps on fighting against Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Hey yo, good evening. Hello. Sebo Bigelion, we have a five minute delay because of the tournament, so I'm sorry that I can't answer your questions in time. Good evening. Lost Paradise taking around Horseman of the Apocalypse. Flaska here, the Lurker. He's, he's playing often in a Lurk position, getting slightly pushed by Dedius. Teammate should come over, otherwise he might die, but he's he should be good. Enough to get that kill. Oh, there he is. We'll need to fight against more enemies. Now, now the teammates started to shoot. Good evening, morning, day to all in the chat. Yep, yep, yep. There he is getting behind the building. Horseman of the Apocalypse trying to cover him. Oh, some damage caused here by a kid. And the teammate strikes back against... Laska, at least he tries to, he's super low HP, Laska throws in the Molotov, decided to move back, the Molotov didn't hit and he is back at 75 HP. Kid in the flank position. Oh, knocking down the first, now it's a 3v3 versus the Lost Paradise and I don't think they will take the fight or will they take it? Oh, they may fight until the end. Can he hear another Scarvis DC, 2 customization and 7... Millimeter ammunition and the new M110 A1, a crate DMR with 7 millimeter bullets as well. The first drone getting called in from Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Can't click on it, maybe this is buggy. And the other teams moving in. Look, it is all the teams in the safe zone, most of them already close to the center, which is now a little bit shifted to the east side. X got moving hard team. Krozix Moon taking the other high ground. King 7 at the apartment. Special X split. Thousand of Yasnyaya. And Lost Paradise 2.8k drone credits. They can go for the revive. So they should not lose their drone credits and lose the fight. That would be not that good. Horsemen of the Apocalypse. They have received the green flare and could revive the teammate. Dropping in soon. Red Flare called in the apartments. Mm, yep. But if the Lost Paradise players see the Green Flare, they will just stay here to kill the guy dropping off the air. 
He will not survive it. I don't think this guy will survive it. And guys, all press that like button. We had 43 likes. Let's get to 50. Yep, first damage done already. Couldn't even see that guy. He's dropping quite far away, nearly out of render distance. At 70 HP, looking good. But look at Krozik's Moon. Yep, Krozik's Moon securing that kill. And now they are aware that the other players are in front of them. Krozik's Moon. Moon is five kills in the count. And Sorrow here is the AWM trying to find something. And he found one together with his teammates. He didn't hit them, but it was Sauron. Sayorix, Sauron, Kitisake, and Sauron now moving over. Oh, Horsemen of the Apocalypse. They need every single kill they can get. They are the top 8. Barely in the top 8. It's only one kill. No placement points. That will be a super hard one. Kid going for a revive and it did work. No, it didn't work. He's getting knocked. His teammate is getting finished down to two players. Steady has no down to one already. Uh, the other guy got shot out of midair. And Lost Paradise is here now as well. He's in the sandwich. That's the end. Horseman of the Apocalypse with only one point out on the 11. This is not good. They might drop out of the top 8 and need to get a lot of points in the last round to get back in. Oh, oh, oh. We will have a look at it after this round. This was not too good for them. No, no, no. Not really good. We are following now Special X and their rotation. The next zone shifted to the south side. Let's have a full look at the zone. And the teams at their position, as most of the teams are already inside. Special X moving more to the center. That's for Marzi at the farm, close again towards the team explode. X got moving in. New wise noob. Oh, this is the the rabbit hole at, at the T cross there. Good position, but you will not be able to stay there for long. Guess with the next zone they would need to move. Lost Paradise moving away from Krozix Moon. Great round from Krozix Moon. Maybe they can get their second chicken dinner with seven kills. Good start. Let's find it out. Breaking team here. On the eastern side, not seeing the enemies. And hard team starts to shoot at Wise Noob. I think we can get back to that team and have a look at them. To see what's going on, but Exgorod. These three other players moving a little bit further. We see Dajia trying to get into a better position. We are in the game for 18 minutes and the next zone is ending in 1 minute 40 seconds. So still some time to rotate to security spots. But in my opinion, this major has here the best position. Oh, some damage caused at Grosex Moon. Sending out their drone. Special X is not that far away. Sauron takes further hits down to 65. No prop. Thank you, Sabo. Hope you're doing great. And there the drone has arrived. And flies away. Ah, wanted to go to the next teammate. It's the AWM, but he's in the vehicle now. Yes, are totally different rules for classic games and tournament games. In the tournament, better to die from zone or kill yourself than enemies get one point. This is right, but at new state, we can't see it that often happening. They are fighting until the end. Some are dying through the zone for sure, but they are not like uh, trying to stay at long in the zone to to get uh, the zone to give this, uh, the kill to the zone. We quite often see the teams moving in really late and trying to risk to get another kill. Especially here at this tournament. This is this is really nice to see. And um, to be honest, for me, this point system is the best I've seen so far. Because we could see lots of um, kills. And for sure, this is a really good point system according to the... According to the uh, green flares, so that we can go for the revive. Ah, with the mini here. Nice one. Grozix Moon and the next zone got announced. Let's have a look at the rotations as they start to rotate. They are not in a good position anymore. No, they are even outside of the zone. The zone is shifted hard to the bottom right side, giving now the best position to Team Explode. And they are moving in into one building to one compound to stay close to each other. That is Demon, aiding a shot from Formazzi. 
X got moving at the right side. Rose X Moon will be hard rotation for them. Yeah, those Paradise soon is pretty at four players. Moving in at the thousand edge there is a good compound. Rose X Moon straight went into the zone. X got fighting against the breaking team. We need to switch over. Fantic. Found already one. Breaking team in a better position. Lombi now clo locally in a one versus two situation. The nade from the enemy will not hit him. He's behind the sniper tower. Waiting for a call of the teammates. We can clearly see that they have the high ground. And that's a knockdown from a Brody. Good cover from the teammate. And now Lombi uh, waiting for the calls of the teammate. Just covering, just holding the end. And now he got the call. Hey, we got two. I have finished off that one, but there was another one. 62 damage, and that's another knockdown with the flank of Fantic. And now Lombi trying to move over. Spots the last guy in the vehicle. He's moving away, starts to shoot, but that is Crossex Moon starting to shoot at Merodi, and Merodi is done and dusted. And I'm not sure if they will be able to revive in 1.4k drone credits without any green flare. Our team super late, and King7 moving in late as well. Straight driving here close towards the hard team, but the McLaren is fast enough to bring them out of the fighting zone. Moving all the way around. X got down to one player and lost Paradise. Seraphim pushing over towards the... Oh no, team explode. Cryptic and his teammates, they have pulled off some nades. Causing some damage. Another nade. Seraphim. This nade was too far. Oh, he was down to 2 or 3 HP, using a first aid or even a bandage there. Barely surviving that, 18 HP remaining. <clears throat> Terminate the Cryptic. Oh, Cryptic getting knocked, lost Paradise Outsider with the insane AWM headshot shooting. Cryptic nearly out of his shoes, and now Seraphim is here. Seraphim locally in a 1 versus 2 situation. Knocks down the first, still now in a 1 versus 2 as Gulash and Terminator getting over. Seraphim getting pushed from the right side, secured by the teammates, but they find the kill. The other two players are here, preaching heavy in, knocking down Terminator with a vehicle move. What is going on? Gulash finds another one. Gulash now in a 1v1 situation, as he found another one. He's in a 1v1 versus Calvin. Anti-clutch situation. Vleska is close to him, calling in. Oh, the nade is not good. The nade is not good. And he's dead. Lost Paradise, securing further kills. And that is the team explode with some kills. 11 kills for Lost Paradise down to two players. He could have clutched it and he could have at least secured another kill. We will see if that is enough for them at the end of the day. Down to 8 teams and 26 players. The next zone is right around these two teams here. Crozex Moon and Lost Paradise. And that Special X moving in. What an intense fight here. Once again, super good. And they are completely flipping the vehicles. Oh no, all the three vehicles. <laughs> Tired and sleeping. What's going on? Well, they have planned to not move any, any, uh, anyway here. As they are in a good position. Crozex Moon starting to shoot at this Major. They need a lot of points, but they didn't get any kill. Pagwon, Javelin, Yamasaki and Forever at the edge. There's some space in the zone as we are down to 8. And still 5 teams outside of the zone. King7 moving in and they need every single point as well. And this will be super hard for them as well to get into a good spot. King7 made it in. Close to the tower here. And that is Yarik getting knocked. Getting finished, probably. Ah, you can get picked up again. Yeah, well, thanks. I hope you do great. Do thank you. Yeah, I'm doing doing great. And that is this major again with long rotations. They made it into the zone, losing now Javelin, and that's final. Special X with a kill. No, Cross X Moon snacking away that kill. Nice. With major down to two, not looking too good. Cross X Moon fighting against King Seven. What's going on? Lots of knockdowns happening, and the other side X got to secure the kill against the breaking team, forcing them. 
or bringing them down to one player. Format C here loses one as well with a great nade from Lost Kelvin. 12 kills. 8 teams, 23 players. Kelvin securing another one. Kill number 13. And they try it. He tries to go for more with the MG3. Oh, the Molotov. Will it be a good one? No, a little bit too short. Li just a little bit. Next one will hit. There it flies, and it hits better. Look at Calvin, he's still going ham. Sees the enemy with the MG3, they're getting into the vehicle. Oh, he's gluing at the enemy's face, but can't secure the kill. And that's another Lost Paradise player. He made it down to the ground. Outsider is back here, and King7 on the other side losing another one. Crozex Wound still in the game, special accent with Major. And that's Calvin here. Trying to secure another kill. But he needs to be careful. Athlix is quite close. You can see some rotations here of Special X. The next zone shifted to the left side. With Major still inside. Together with Lost Paradise and King 7 moved over. That's what we have seen here. Oh, Calvin shot down. That's the end. Outside and Vleska. Pushing over, finds another one. And that is Yarrick finding the first, clutching it, not Flaska securing the last kill. 16 kills, and Krozak's Moon finding one off X God, forcing them to get into the building. It's only one guy left in a 1 versus 3 situation, and that's the end. 1 versus 4, Krozak's Moon is out. And look at Lost Paradise having a good position now, can recover with two players. While Krozak's like Moon needs to move over a little bit against Special X. It's a 2 versus 4 versus 4 versus 1 versus 1 with Format C and Viz Major being the lonely players here. Format C, two first aids, that will be enough. But he will get spotted by Lost Paradise. You should hear him. Oh, now he needs to run. No time left. He needs to hurry. Low HP running into the zone. And Flaska, here is it. Aiming at the building. They are inside of the zone, pulling off some nades. They will hit it. Oh, oh, for outsider. He didn't hit it. He's low HP now. Be careful, guys. They have a good cover with that second floor of the building. While Krozex Moon is struggling, Sonacy with the double knockdown. Can he find more? He sees the enemy. He's going for more, but he can't hit any further shot. The teammate pulls off an 8. That should be enough, or... Not yet. Krozex Moon, that's another hit. Down to one player and one knocked. Sonacy with another 8. Throws it in. Will it be enough? It is enough. Sonacy with the triple kill, if I saw that correct. Sonacy already in this round. Three kills. Yep, that was the triple. And look at this major fake one. No kills, but a top three position. That's five points. That will not be enough. Fake one versus three special X players versus two from Lost Paradise. Can they secure another chicken dinner? Again, they have not the best position, not the advantage, but it's looking good for them. They are super strong, and they nearly knocked down another one with the Deca scope. Oh, that nade. Still some utility left. That nade will be enough if he can cook it correct. Throws it in. The nade was thrown good. Sonacy nearly cleared. Leska low HP needs to recover outside with his nade, not hitting the enemy. And fake one still waiting in the blue zone. Two first aids, he needs to move really soon. Maybe he can secure a kill. No, Sonacy. Didn't aid, boy. Six kills in the account. Special X now in a three versus two situation. Four versus two. The outsider pulls off another nade. Damn, where they have. Where do they get all the utility? Oh, while he was nading, he was shot down, and now it's Fleska with 40 HP in a one versus four situation. That's looking super good for Special X. They will secure. They need to secure this chicken dinner. Flaska tries to hold it, getting pushed now by three guys, one outside waiting for him. With the MCX, he tries to spray into the smoke, can't do anything, back at the UMP, 14 bullets. And the dream. And Fender pulled off another nade. He's jumping off. 
Oh, he got already uh, misery there. I didn't see that. That's the end. Special X securing another chicken dinner. Eight kills, 19 kills. Nearly the first 20 bomb in that group for Lost Paradise on his second spot. What a great round. And this major without any kills there on the second or third, third position. What a crazy round. With only 14 teams, that was so intense. And that is again Special X with a chicken dinner. Oi, oi, oi. I need to take a break from that. This was the most intense round in that group and maybe from the others as well. But GG. Let me check their logo. There is this major. Yep, they have won yesterday. No, it was not this major, sorry. Uh, special X for sure. Let me check for their logo. There we go. And the next round will start in roughly 12 minutes. I will be back for you after a short break for the final round on Troy of the Group C here of the 1500 Euro Tournament. Thank you guys for still being here and see you after the short break.
Toda la noche y no nos queda mucho tiempo más. No quiero perder lo que queda. Seguimos siempre la pasión y confiamos solo en el amor. No quiero perder lo que queda. Y más y más allá. A través de la gran oscuridad.
There I'm back for you with <coughs> sorry, there I'm back for you with one round to go. Thirty-seven players being already in the already in the lobby. This is the last round for the group C and that was a crazy last round. Second chicken dinner for special X and nearly the 20 bomb by the Lost Paradise team. So here's the updated current standing. Let's have a look at it. There we go, Lost Paradise securing the lead. For this group, I don't think that United Esports will be able to take over them, as they would need 48 points. That is just too not too much. It would be in 38 kills. That will not be possible. We have their Crossex Moon right behind United Esports with one point only behind it, so they can secure the second position if they can get a good round. Breaking team on the four with 93 points in a safe spot. They will not drop out of the top eight. Same counts for Special X. Format C with 79 should be secured as well as. Team Explode. Team Explode has 14 points lead of his major and 15 for Horseman of the Apocalypse. So both teams would need to get more than 16, 16 points or 15 points more than um, Team Explode. So it's looking quite secure for them as well. But never say never. I've said it many, many times. It's one round to go on Troy. Yeah, and on the other side, King 7, X God Aris. Is a brilliant round. They still can jump in, but it will be super hard for them. So let's see it. Let's see what's going to happen here on the last round on Troy. So, yep, Hooligan, the golden pen, does not have any um, effects yet, but maybe in the future. And yeah, now we are there with 52 players. Two teams with the three-man team, even four teams with the three-man team. So we will see now probably 15 teams again, which would be great. Good luck to all the participants. Now there we are with 54 players starting into the last round of today. And it's gonna be for sure one last time Troy. So let's have a look at the flight already and see which team will win the last round of the Group C.
There we go. The flight is starting on the bottom mill close to the city hall. We are flying in between Loganville and the graveyard. Flying over Mesa, the factory, over the lab. So that flight is shifted to the bottom right side. That will make it really interesting. Let's see what's going to happen there. First teams will go over for sure to, to Shelton probably for Matsi. I'm not sure if they will go over. We may see some hot drops happening here. We are down at 14 players, so uh, at 14 teams, so the other teams didn't make it. 54 players. That is alright. Okay, Hooligan, have a good have a good evening, have a good rest later on. And enjoy the time off with your family. So there we go. The first team's dropping off really early. That's with Major towards the City Hall and Formazzi towards the Shel Shelton. Horseman of the Apocalypse towards Loganville. Special X normally go to the apartments. This time it seems too far away. Dropping off quite early, trying to get to the vehicles and drive over. That's at least what I think is going to happen here. As next we got there, the Ratma Rollers going towards the mall. And that's possible the horror teams going there with them together. Ah, it looks good, so we will stay at them as there is no other hot drop happening. United Esports at Cornwall, not at Chester this time, don't want to fly that long. You can see here, hard team going to Anchorville, x -God going towards probably Hillard and Trailer Park in a split again. And King7 at the Exhibit Hall. Breaking team at Mesa and Bay Area taken by the Team Explode. So we definitely have a hot drop here right at the mall. So let's jump over and see what's going on at this position. It's a 4 versus 4 squad setup here. 4 to ask already ate a shot. Oh, it's a 4 versus 3 in the hands of Red Marauders. Didn't see that. And that's some damage done. Rikim knocked down to the ground. Advocat is here. Advocat can't raid his teammate. Secures the kill. Getting pushed now. Gets down the stairs. That was good. But that may mean that the teammate is dead. No, he keeps on fighting. Advocat caused some damage. And Rikim got finished. Ah, that was supposed to happen. Sabur is here now as well to help off his teammates from the horror teams. Sasha and Sabur versus Fordask, Advocate and Red Tap. Super close to each other. Oh, Sasha moves in. He was hurt by the enemy. He was hurt by the enemy, and thank you guys for still being here. 51 likes, that's great, and that's Sabur knocked down to the ground, bringing the team down to Sasha, and now Red Marauders in a 3 versus 1 situation. He's trying to bait the enemies, he started to shoot, but the Molotov was a little bit too early. The enemies didn't let them bait, let him bait them, whatever. Sasha still holding holding the cover. Mm, not sure if they will be able to do something. That's United Esports moving over to the, the mall. And they are preaching in. They want to take the fight. 3 minutes 52. That can't be definitely a stream snipe. Maybe they have seen it in the last rounds and they have seen the fight. They should definitely know that Red Marauders did go here every single round. And now the Red Marauders, after they have eliminated United Esports two times, they will need to face again United Esports. Let's 
Let's see what's going to happen here. We are playing it totally weird. That's totally weird, to be honest. Advocate here. Free frag at Kubidon. And he gets another one. I mean, this is the same United Esports team which we have seen on the first day. And now as they are getting killed a third time by Red Marauders, this looks a little bit crazy. Because they are not even trying to fight or what's going on. It looks a little bit fishy. Here is the enemy. Let's see if Respit tries to can get a kill here. Baiting the enemy. Ah, now Moon tries to do some damage. That's looking better. <clears throat> but anyway, it will not be enough for the Red Marauders to push into the top 8. I don't think so. Pull of the nade. Can they find someone? Oh, the nade didn't hit. Tries to throw it via the corner. Or they just try to finish the round fast as they are secured in the top 8. That's possible as well. And look at the HR player. Sasha still waiting in his room. Is he still be oh, look, he's still behind it. And Respit super close to that position. Moon takes some shots from the enemies. Still looting. Secure and a good hold. Oh, that's some good damage from Moon, Ford Ask. Red is moving in, that's another kill. Bringing down the United Esports team to one player, Respit. Tries to escape, but there will not be, in, not be an escape for him. Ford Ask moving in. And he couldn't do something. GG well played. Red Marauders getting 6 kills here right now at the mall. And United Esports again out without any points. That's somehow crazy. And that gives them further points. Let me shortly have a look at the standing. Red Marauders 38 points. They would need 20 more points than with Major. That is super hard. That it's possible, theoretically. It is possible. We will find it out. The first zone is shifted again to the bottom right side. Again, the center is close to Vermont. And Lost Paradise, again, in a good position. Lost Paradise starts to shoot at breaking team. Both teams secured in the top 8 and that's the first knockdown for this round. Lost Paradise tries to win another one. 4 versus 3 left. Hunter dropping off somewhere else. And the vehicle explodes. That's the end. Was that a kill for the enemy team? I don't think so. No, this was a self kill. Didn't count for anybody. Laska securing the vehicle. Further teams coming in. King 7 here and still the HR player at the mall. I think they forgot him. They forgot him. Oh, and this Major. Not fighting against Format C. No, now they get spotted. That's some damage forever. Low HP. 22 HP getting followed. And they have finished him. And Gulash finds an enemy, Vermont. He finds another one, Exgord fighting against, fighting against Team Explode. Gulash, Terminator, Cryptic and Demon here. Versus two enemies of Exgord and they are a little bit retreating. Where's the third guy? 
That was one kill in the count for Team Explode. And every point will help them to secure the top 8. I think they are already in. With that reason that they have already a lead of some points. Red Marauder is soon back at three, 4 players. 4 is one dropping down soon. Still Sasha waiting here. Our team moving close towards Mesta. Look at how close the teams are already towards the center. And the Xcode here at 3 players. Let's see what's going to happen there next. They won't push over the street. He's holding them on the each other side and the hard team fighting yep they've preached in towards king seven they've lost one they get all oh, they drop the next one king seven holding good wish with the nade causing a little bit of damage they're pushing around wish jump shotting but there is another enemy behind him, he gets behind the wall, and his teammate is there to help off. That's two further one. If ne Q Nasty gets the last guy, Q Nasty getting knocked as well now, that's a loose. But only one guy left from the enemies, from the hard team, that will be the end. Ah, the poison gas grenade does not hit. And they are too afraid to push, the enemies are going for the revive. Oh, there was a chance. There was a good chance. And for Marzi, fighting against Lost Paradise, that's why we're going over. With Major with the revive. Uh, trades on both sides, they won't go for the for the push or do they push over? <laughs> Outside they're getting closer towards the enemies. <coughs> Cryptic finds an enemy. Oh they're getting pushed now by Xcord. One vehicle exploded, X go down to two players, not losing another one. And they keep on moving, Formazzi is still close to the enemies and still here the standoff in between Hard Team and King 7. What's going on this is in this game? Next zone starts to move in 1 minute 40 seconds, we will have a look at this zone quite soon. But as there are some fights happening, we will stay here. Lost Paradise loses now one. Oh, and Crozex Moon not that far away. They are pushing over. What? Omatsi eliminating nearly the Lost Paradise team. I mean, they are down to one, down to two. Okay, they could have finished only two. And Omatsi down to two as well. One guy left in the building. One versus two situation. Covered for now by the Molotov. Oh, and the enemy just goes in into the Molotov. Risky move. And that's the end for Lost Paradise. No, they eliminate the enemies, but Formancy killing them as well. They've killed each other. No, Formancy is slick still here. Look at this. That was not worse for Lost Paradise. Especially because he can go for the revives of his three teammates. What a crazy thing. Never saw something like that before. Risking it going into the into the Molotov and now they can go for the revives. Good job for Matsi. Good job. Being here now at Baptilica and Wish Top 1 still in the standoff against the hard team.
Nobody's moving and Krozik's Moon soon fighting against Red Mar Marauders, maybe? Marauders. Oh, Krozik's Moon keeps on moving. Looks like they don't want to take the fight. Let me refill my water. And that's a knockdown against the third Krozik's Moon player. Down to two. Down to two. Oh, that drone got shot down. Krozik's Moon, the Green Flare, stopped by its Special X. Special X. Last round was already great. Can they win another one? And that's red. Losing one. Oh, they are moving over. Two, two, two man teams. That's gonna be hard. Oh, Rekim got shot. They lose another one. Red Marauder is down to two players at four dusk now. It's a two versus two versus two stand up here. But King 7 moving away. Red Marauder is getting into the vehicle. The Advocate down to 9 HP. And the next zone is ending soon with the revive of the breaking team at the top right side. They are still in a good spot. Horsemen of the Apocalypse next to terminate the anti team explode. And he ate some shots. Get down to 11 players and uh, 11 teams and 34 players. And close six moon here, close to one player of the. King 7 and Horsemen of the Apocalypse, they need some kills. They are on the 9th position, if I'm correct. And the next zone started to move. And Horsemen of the Apocalypse moving over to a different location. Oh, it can announce it starts to move soon. And it shifted to the left side. Or it's not really shifted, but it is more to the left from these two teams with Major moving in. Our team loses one against King7. And Krozak's Moon being in a good spot there in the lower buildings next to the high ground of the graveyard. Horseman of the Apocalypse moving in as well. Breaking team on the top right corner. Special X, they all need to move. We are down to 33 players. An average amount of 3 players per team. That's not that much. And let's see where they end up. Are uh, they moving around? And then maybe they've spotted four months C here or their vehicles. Which is quite often a good indicator if there is an enemy team in the compound. Just look if there are some colored vehicles with some skins. Terminator. Being a little bit afraid of the compound, but here is nobody inside. Can stay here on the other side. This major eating some shots. That was forever. Shot by the Format C team from the high ground, but they are in a little bit of a sandwich, they are now at the position where the enemy team of United East of Lost Paradise was at. 7.2k drone grids, that's insane. That's insane. Calling in a green flare. Bomazi loses that drone. That's a free green flare for the Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Maybe they will need it later on. We will find it out. And there he is, KPS, Kit and Love here from Horseman of the Apocalypse in a good position. x -God still needs to move, being super late, 930 drone credits. Trying to go for another revive, the hard team is a revive. 1040 drone credits, ooh, 10 away from another revive, this is sad. But the teammate first needs to drop down. Getting shot here. And that's the first hit, another one. C99 should make it to the ground. 53, 40. No, he's too short. Now he needs to run over. 
And he's super low HP, smokes off trying to just get over. If he now gets knocked, there's a chance that he can get picked up again. And he made it into the gasoline station. Next zone started to move, 38 seconds to go. Horseman of the Apocalypse knocking down. No, with the help that was Demon from the Team Explode knocking down one of Format C. That is a quite long distance, nice shot. Nice shot. He's aiming now at the team with Major as well, with number 3. And the next zone is shifted to the top side and quite centered, giving Team Explode, Crozex Moon, Red Marauders, King 7 a good position as they are already inside, with Major inside as well, but for the upper next zone they will need to move. And Horseman of the Apocalypse moving in. Driving next to his major. Keep on moving. Left here. Escape, yes. That he and kid. And X good. Lost one. Oh, kid. Need to stop sometime. There's a sniper tower. The sniper tower would have been good. The building is already set up by Crozex Moon. And here are the Red Marauders, he's stopping by, getting shot nearly out of the vehicle, down to low HP, getting shot from two directions, that's the end for him. And Red Marauders with a 9 kill. And the other players from Horsemen of the Apocalypse at Graveyard, they have enough drone crits to revive the Force 1. Not a big deal for them, the zone starts to move in 30 seconds. And Gulash finds one of his major from the team explode. And they should make it into the top 8. Two kills. Two points. With major struggling without any points. Playing it too defensive. Even a chicken dinner would not be enough with that low amount of kills. And the hard team starts to move. And what is Crozex Moon doing? They are taking over the sniper tower. Special Eggs loses one against Red Marauders. Special Eggs can revive the other guy. Astro taking some damage. Super low HP. Special X keeps on moving. They need to move slightly in. They have won the last round. Still in the game as a full squad. Some good chances. To get another win here. But now it's not looking that good. Being close to several other teams. Hard team to the left. To the right. That's the Red Marauders. But only two man teams and they have knocked down one of the hard team they find the other one that's the first two kills in their hands that's a good job that is a slide win that is a slide win for them now they are in a good position not in the next zone it is shifted to their direction and they could move over towards the position of red marauders but marauders here Looking quite good for them. Another player coming in from the Red Mar Marauders. Don't think they will bring him down to the ground. Miss Major tried to flank in, but Horseman of the Apocalypse waiting here. And on the other side, someone taking insane amount of damage. 
Eggs go down to one player. Oh no, down to two. Didn't see that, I'm sorry. And Red Marauder has lost the player they have called in. That's another kill for Special X. Looking good for them. Looking good for them. And King 7 finds an enemy. They are fighting against the breaking team right here on the other side. It's the end already for King 7. Oh, there's still one left. Okay, <laughs> all right. Ah, the enemies keep on shooting the shield. Prozix Moon aiming towards the team number 8. Horseman of the Apocalypse dropping down. That should be a knockdown, but he can't hit him. Oh, that's the headshot with the M110 A1. Great shot. After he missed him several times, now that's the end for him. It was Major pushing behind them, and that's now from what he moving in as well. The breaking team coming from the top side. side. That's a lot of fights happening now in parallel. This Major losing one. From what he still in the game as a, at least a three-man team. The other side, that is a fight between Cryptic and his teammates and. The breaking team, that is team is getting knocked for Matsi is struggling. And here they are moving over. Breaking team down. Two, one, two players, one in the deep blue zone. And for Matsi eliminating some. X got us out as well. Six teams. That was an hour really fast. Couldn't see that much. That's the fours killing the hands of Team Explode. Looking good for them. Two shields inside. Oh, but Terminator got shot down by Krozex Moon. They have a good angle towards this thing. This little metal box. And look at Red Marauders. They were out on the position 8, I think. And Special X took over the good position. But now they need to move. They have some vehicles left. And they definitely need them. Best position probably for Krozex Moon. Both teams here in a little bit of a hard cover, but... I don't know, this will be super hard to fight. If they would have a shield, that would be good. Can even get towards the high to the yeah, on top of that thing. Theoretically. Horseman of the Apocalypse moving in. KPS getting shot. From Formazi, that is Hotta Kid. ETW down to 12 HP and the teammate. No, that is Crozex Moon finding one. And Demon finds another one. That's it for format C. They are out. Kill number 5 for no, number 6 already. Horseman of the Apocalypse and still Special X in the game as a full squad. Now moving closer towards the next zone. That is looking good. Oh, and nice spray here from Misery. Enemy made it behind the stone. He pulls off the nade. And the zone is kicking in. The nade was too, thrown too short. But left needs to move out. Teammate KPS in the smoke covered. Oh, nearly gets knocked by the nade. It's a 4 versus 2 versus 1 versus 2 versus 4. Still 5 teams and 13 players. And that's the end for Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Should be enough on the top 5 with some kills. We will see it right after this round. And now Special X with the cover. We see two stones before in front of their position they are already inside of the next zone this is great can that be the third chicken dinner for special x oh, oh. one guy flanking of them and they've lost misery on the other spot but look at this oh this is a this is you this is insane trigger discipline for the breaking team while crossex moon loses one and that is still the Team explode in the game as a full squad. Moving over. Kirisake pulled off an 8. Not knocking down someone. The Molotov was better. Blocking them. They need to move in. Ah, they are in an off angle. And the sniper tower is still inside of the zone. Oh, Crossex Moon finds one. Decimating the team explode to 3 players and 8. Or better, a poison gas grenade. Blocking them a little bit now. Another nade or Molotov. Causing some damage. And Kirisake is dead. That's the end for Krozex Moon on the 4. Special X versus the Breaking Team versus Team Explode. And look at the Breaking Team. Still a good position. Now Special X moving over. Pulling off another nade. That's a 4 versus 2 advantage. 
But still, breaking team waiting patiently at the position, not doing anything. And now they are all focusing that position, and now he gets off his position, gets the first. No, that was Demon. Oh, two versus three in this position, and still Mavrodi for the breaking team. It's working good off for him. Gulash getting still knocked down. Demon now knocked. It's a one versus two for Cryptic. And what is Marodi doing? One versus two. There is an enemy in front of him. But he can't spot him. Cryptic recovered. Can secure at least another point. That should be definitely enough. And that's the end. Special X now in a one versus two fight. In a two versus one fight and breaking. Team finds the first one. It's Misery. Or is it going to be Marodi? He has the better position, closer to the zone, but Marodi has still the stone here as well. Can secure that kill. Now he has spotted the enemy. One versus one for the last round, the last chicken dinner in the Group C of the 1,500 Euro Spring League. New State EU Spring League here. Which team will win the round? He pulls off an 8. Ah, this can't hit, but it caused some damage. The enemy made it behind the building, recovering. <coughs> and Marodi moving slightly closer. Trying to use the angle of the building to be covered, as well as the enemy is covered. The nade is not good. The enemy is nade. Flies in. The nade comes. Exploding. Oh, at defense, so it didn't cause any damage. He's taking clues on damage, not that was. Uh... And he spots the enemy! GG, well played! Special X getting the double the chicken dinner at the end with 11 kills. GG, nice one. That is a good finish and a good mood for the next stage of the tournament. When you get the last two rounds. So you've done the complete opposite of United Esports. Good evening, Blake. As United Esports won the first two, Special X won the last two. I will be back for you in a sh after a short break. That was another win in the hands of Special X. Five minutes break. And I will be back for you with the final standing. So see you again in five minutes after a short break.
Took a swing at a wrecking ball and I prayed for my downfall and I found a way to reconcile cause in my heart it's not worth There I'm back for you already finished with the standing and I can tell you it was a quite close one. GG well played to all the teams. The final standing is right now here. It is for sure the preliminary standing as still changes can occur if we have had any mistake. Lost Paradise securing the first position was 151 points. Gross X Moon on the second spot with 109 and 107 for Special X with their third chicken dinner. We should definitely remember that in the in the semi-finals. They've done a great job as next we can see. United Esports dropping to the fourth position equal with breaking team. The last rounds they played, I don't know, they didn't play it really good. For Matsi, maybe this just can be the tactic to not show what they can after the first two chicken dinners. They will do good in the semi-finals. 90 points for Formatsi on the 6. Team Explode. 88 points on the 7 with a really good last round. 11 kills. And we have there on the 8 position Horseman of Apocalypse with 60 points. And King 7. 59 points. That was super close. With Major with 10. That was the 10th position and 58. So these three teams... One point, but equal two points, decided it which team out of the three did move towards the semi-finals. GG, well played. And you never know if a team disbands. The scoreboard can be really interesting. I think the total points of all the teams would count. I don't know. Let's hope the teams all hold together. GG, 2x Godars on the 11. Red Murderers on the 12. GG as well. Hard team. All our teams, alternate game. Winners plays. Bugs Esports, Red Flame, Corleone Esports and Rock Esports. So that's it for today. Really appreciate it that you have been all here. I wish you all a good rest, a good night. And we will see us again next week, Friday. When I will be live with the Group D. This will be the final group of the tournament. Let's see what's happening then. GG well played to everybody. And good luck to all the teams who moved over to the semi-finals. That's it for today. I will be will go offline now and we will see us again. Bye bye everybody.